In this lesson, you will take your first steps into Houdini as you model a coffee cup, then use dynamics to simulate falling gumballs. You apply textures and materials, add lights and a camera, then render out the finished sequence. By touching all aspects of this shot, you will learn how to navigate your way through Houdini and its node-based workflow. To get started, it is important to learn how to explore the Houdini workspace with a focus on the panes you will use on a regular basis. Learning how to work back and forth between these interface elements will be an important skill moving forward. Along the way, you will model the coffee cup using various tools such as Poly Extrude, Poly Bridge, and Poly Fill. You will take a detour for modeling the cup to work on the nodes in the network view. The nodes act as a recipe that describe the flow of data from the top to the bottom of the network. Keeping the network well organized and easy to read is important for when you return to it later in production or when you share your work with others and you need them to understand how the shot works. Next you are going to drop gumballs into the cup you just modeled. To do this you want to place gumballs above the cup using a box with scattered points inside. This setup gives you the chance to change the number of gumballs at any point. You will also use attributes such as color and p scale to add variety to the gumballs. To create a scene for rendering, you are going to bring the geometry into the Solaris or LOPS context of Houdini. LOPS are used to prepare the scene for rendering. For an artist creating a single shot like the gumball scene, the setup is fairly simple, and even though you are using USD, you will barely notice it. To add texture to the ground, you will use the Copernicus context to work with procedural images. You can start this using a button on the quick surface material and then build up your network from there. You can set up nodes that feed into color specular normal maps, then use the same image to feed all three. This gives you the flexibility inside Houdini to explore the right look for your surface without going out to a separate image processing application. It is time to add the gumballs to complete the shot. This time, you export the geometry directly to a USD file, then reference that back into the stage. For animated pieces like the gumballs, this works better with motion blur since the motion is already cached. You will then render and play back the sequence to review the shot. Finally, you will imagine that the client comes back with changes such as making the gumballs into little candy eggs. The first step is to reshape the original sphere, then you will need to re-simulate and recache the results. The client also proposes some compositing effects which you can add using a slap comp created with Copernicus nodes. The compositing network can be applied onto your rendering right in the scene view to make creative decisions easy. With this lesson, you will take your first steps into the world of Houdini and its node-based workflow. You will have used a variety of nodes to model, simulate, texture, and render a simple shot. Let's get started.